missed the stories which hit the headlines lately? The Daily Tribune is here to give you a flashback of the recent happenings. Here are Daily Tribune's top 5 trending stories of the week. We're starting the list with a showbiz story. Marion Rivera has arrived in Israel to be part of the Miss Universe 2021 selection committee. The 37-year-old couple's actor said she will be fair as the judge of the prestigious beauty pageant where more than 75 contestants will compete. Reading Miss Universe Andrea Meza of Mexico will crown her successor on December 2030. Coming at number 4, journalist Maria Ressa made history as the first Filipino to receive the Nobel Peace Prize at a ceremony in Oslo on December 10. She paid tribute to the world's persecuted journalists. In 2012, Ressa co-founded Rappler, a news website critical of the Philippine government. At number 3, the Supreme Court has declared two provisions of Republic Act No. 11479 or the Anti-Terrorism Law as unconstitutional such as the portion of Section 4 and Section 25. Section 4 deals with excluding mass actions and similar exercise of civil and political rights from the definition of terrorism, while Section 25 is about requests by foreign agencies or bodies to designate persons as terrorists and terrorist organizations. At number 2, presidential aspirant Ferdinand Bombo Marcos Jr. and his vice presidential tandem Davos City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio on Wednesday led thousands of supporters who filled the stretch of Commonwealth Avenue and other major streets in Quezon City for their first grand caravan. The motorcade had caused a massive traffic buildup in the area. The Quezon City government advised motorists to use alternate routes as the event was not properly coordinated with city authorities. And taking the first block this week is the story about the COVID-19 pandemic. The Department of Health announced on Friday that around 598 out of 1,232 hospitals nationwide have no new admissions of patients with COVID-19 from December 5 to 9. In the National Capital Region, 62 of 158 hospitals have logged no new COVID-19 admissions for the same period. It also reported no case of the Omicron variant was detected among 48 samples from COVID-19 patients in the latest genome sequencing run. Meanwhile, a total of 28 public schools across Metro Manila welcomed more than 2,000 students on December 6 in their classrooms almost two years after the pandemic forced schools to hold purely online classes. This has been Michelle Gileang and that's it for Daily Tribune's Top 5 Training Stories of the Week.